Sorry, the number you dialed is not in the mood for phone calls. Please try again later. Who? Ah, oh, it's too early. I don't remember when I last slept. My sleep cycle has been messed up lately. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Me? Kidnapped? Please. The kidnappers would probably beg me to leave them alone. I don't remember where I put my cell phone. It's probably dead now. Help me look for it, will you? What's that in your hand? Looks like you weren't that concerned about me after all. You just had to grab food for yourself before coming to my rescue. Haven't you seen those movies where the female lead finds out the male lead is in trouble, drops the delicious food she's holding and leaves the house crying to look for him? <sighs> the boxes are stuff I bought online. As for those drawings, well, I no longer need them. I don't remember. I was just sketching and waiting for inspiration to come. Every time I trashed a sketch I'm not happy with, I made another purchase. You look like you're playing hopscotch with your jumping around. What clutter? I'd say you're the one who's messing me up. I'll clear a path for you so you don't bump into anything. <sighs> it's nothing. Just a little dizzy. I waited for inspiration to hit over the past couple of days before you came. Then a sudden idea struck me just now. As a result, both my body and mind struggle to keep up. I feel shaken. It's probably because I'd been waiting for an idea for so long. I guess it's the price to pay for an epiphany. <sighs> I vaguely remember eating at sunset the day before yesterday. I can't feel hunger now. I'm numb. Nothing strikes my fancy. No, I don't want to open the door to strangers. What are you eating? It smells fishy. Not really. I only eat fresh seafood. Not at all. It's tasteless and hard. Reminds me of when I used to chew on paper. I... I don't know what you were like as a child, but I can experience your silliness vicariously through these. So thirsty. Why did my senses come back all of a sudden?
Good idea. Or maybe I should just hang a large pastry from my neck, the type that rotates. That way, I won't even need to move my head. Where's my phone? Uh, I'll order one. Although, come to think of it, does anyone sell that? Now that you mention it, I just remembered there's something inside that package for you. No, it's for you to take with you when you go out. Look at the strap on the handle. It's wide enough to pull down below your chin. Use it by putting it on your head. Stick the suction cup of the octopus onto the roof of the bus. With this amazing device, you can sleep anywhere standing up. But you'll have to be careful. Don't hang yourself. Pull it down over your chin, not your neck. I was thinking you would be exhausted after fighting off wanderers. It would be nice if you could catch up on sleep anywhere. What do you think? Isn't it handy? It's definitely practical, but its aesthetics leave much to be desired. Hold on, I'll put some color on the tentacles so that it looks more presentable when you take it with you. Of course, if you feel embarrassed, you can wait till the coast is clear before using it. Okay, then unbox something else. This one's definitely useful. Yep. When I'm hungry or cold, I think of you and I don't feel it anymore. Of course not. I bought it just the way it is. I don't use an umbrella when it rains, but you can use it. It extends all the way to the ground to keep your shoes from getting wet. If I can hold it for you, it won't be a problem. This is our umbrella. What? Become an umbrella salesman? This isn't even the best item I bought this time. The coolest stuff is still in the box. Come on! Now that's a suggestion. Would you sign for the package if I packed myself in a box and mailed it to you? I want to step on it, to be more precise. I specially requested more bubble wrap from the vendor. It's fun! You try it. That won't do. Take your shoes off, you can feel it better. Where are you going? What's the hurry? I'm almost done painting. Don't you want to see it? I just finished a rough sketch. I haven't really begun yet, so it's not the prettiest. Wow, you could very well be my soulmate. You're right, it's a person sleeping. See, even though this person is hidden under a mess of lines, you were able to clearly tell that she's the focus of the painting. It just felt right, so why not give it a shot? Besides, when I see an image I want to capture on canvas, the inspiration naturally flows. You're just a piece of the whole. Don't feel that this is all about you. Don't judge yourself too harshly. There's no such thing as beauty and ugliness in art. But if you're not happy with this, I'll burn it. I'll just wait a couple of days and when inspiration strikes, I'll paint something else. I thought you didn't like it. 
you might have to wait for a few more days. I have high professional standards and will never show off a half-finished art piece. Bye now. You know the way out. Sheesh. You can't even sleep without tossing and turning. Painting you is hard work.